This CCTV footage from outside the care home is thought to capture the moment late last night that the killer arrived, carrying a bag of knives. This morning, forensic teams began piecing together the elements of a crime that is beyond imagination. And Japan is a country in profound shock. In room after room, the victims were found with their throats cut. Many had serious mental disabilities. The oldest of those killed was aged 70. The youngest, just 19. Shortly afterwards, a former employee at the care home, 26-year-old Satoshi Uematsu, seen here in a Facebook photo, claimed he was responsible. This wasn't an impulsive crime where the suspect just blew up and grabbed a knife. He went to the dead of night, opened one door at a time and stabbed sleeping people one at a time. It took less than an hour. Again, this footage is said to match the timings and shortly afterwards, the alleged killer handed himself in at a local police station. There were plenty of warning signs. Uematsu had begun to publicly express his disturbing view that disabled people, unable to live independent lives, should be killed. And in February this year, his employment here came to an end after he wrote to the National Parliament. The letter, pictures of which have been broadcast today, was enough to prompt the authorities to act and Uematsu was detained in a psychiatric hospital. But just two weeks later, he was released, returning to live in this house a short distance from the care home. When I walk there, the staff and tenants were like friends. I just can't imagine this happening. Amid the grief, the debate is already turning to whether more could have been done to prevent it. John Sudworth, BBC News, in Sagamihara, near Tokyo.